Yo, welcome back to Venture Brain Peace Show, Crown Zine video, and today we're looking at Rayquaza VMAX here. Rayquaza VMAX did get a pretty cool new upgrade with Crown Zenith, and of course, that is going to be pyramided with Radiant Eternatus. With that ability, Climatic Gate, when you play from hand on your bench, you can put two VMAXs from your deck into play. So you can use Radiant Etern to immediately put two Rayquaza VMAX into play for free. Of course, Rayquaza does have an ability as a repulse. Once you're in turn, you may discard your hand and draw three cards. You also have Max Burst, allowing you to do like infinite damage with four lightning discarded and a fire you can do uh 340 damage and knock out mostly everything and of course i am pairing it with rcs today i think rcs is like the best partner to pair rayquaza with especially if you're playing with e-turn radiant eternatus does also let us use flying pikachu in the deck we can use this if we end up playing against something like reggie's or lost box a matchup where the rayquaza wouldn't be very helpful in we then have flying pikachu as an option which we do get access to thanks to radiant eternatus's ability and of course we can build up rayquaza through the likes of rose Arceus and Flaffy. So yeah, before we get the video, show two sponsor card cabin TCG. As always, if you're ever looking for any PC show pack codes, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you're looking for any sets, of course, like the main set, Crown Zenith. Get your Crown Zenith codes at Card Cabin. Or maybe you're looking for any other older set too for uh, Pokemon TCG Live migration. Or maybe you want to get IRL singles. Card Cavern's got them all. If you get anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code code LDF for a 5 to discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up for Card Cavern. So shout out Card Cavern, check them out, use code LDF. Also, check out the Shovel Squad down below. Every Monday I do post a new video on the channel. And of course, you can check out my second channel for even more LDF content, of course. I do have content over my second channel, like tier lists, uh, stream VODs, I'll go over there. Uh, looking at decks from Japan, set reviews, all that good stuff. So if you're into more, you know, LDF content, definitely check out my second channel and give it a sub. So yeah, let's look at the Rayquaza VMAX decks. This is the Ray list I'm working with here using the Rating Eternatus for the Rayquaza. Again, Rayquaza, funny enough, actually got uh, some new artworks too with Crown Zenith, which is kind of funny. We got two different Rays here. Let me pull them up here real quick, actually. Yeah, we got, we got two, two new Rays. We got this Rayquaza and this Rayquaza as the two Ray artworks. Funny enough, I actually prefer this Rayquaza. If I was to use any Ray artwork, I prefer this one here. Uh, this one's, I don't know, I don't like this one as much. I think this one just looks a little bit more cleaner. I don't know, I like the colors on this one. But uh, yeah, of course, Rayquaza, pairing with Arceus. Um, I did just do a video on Rayquaza uh, like a couple months back playing it without Arceus, but I think it's just fine with the Arceus being able to Trinity Nova and build up Rayquaza is really, really good. And Arceus complements this deck really well, I think, overall, over just playing Rayquaza by itself. Like, by itself, it's a bit better without Arceus, but when you're playing it with E-Turn, I feel like you probably need that Arceus for that extra push. Um, I am playing a Zero Aura. This is an experimental card. It is here for the free retreat cost, but you do have Fighting Lightning, which can be a nice way to, like, cheese a KO on, like, a Luminion or something. But you can also use it early on to take a knock on a Mew, maybe, if you're luck, or Lugia, sorry. But it is here for the free retreat also. Being a pivot card is really, really nice. You could cut the Zero Aura, though, and maybe add in a Raikou V. That was the other card I considered adding in here is a Raikou V. Um, but I like Zero Aura quite a bit. I am playing um, some supporters. we got four Research, one Marnie, three Rose, one Serena, one Boss. We don't need to play, like, a whole lot of supporters or draw anyways because we do have a Zor Pulse which does draw us cards so it's not like we have to play like four Marnie four research um it is still nice to have like the Marnie in the deck for extra support I am playing a pal pad in case you discard supporters with you know your ability or rose or whatever um I got a couple nets net is really good with radiant turn allowing you to get out of climatic gate uh get it off the board you can also use net as a retreat pivot like if you have flying Pikachu in the active and your opponent like hits you with a reg ice you can retreat Pikachu into Eternus net it and then go back into Pikachu and reset Red Eyes. This is a cool combo you can do. You can also, um, of course, try to work with a big Paracel. I am playing one Paracel, obviously, for Flying Pikachu against Lost Box and Reggie's. But, yeah, you do have that combo. Just wanted to note how relevant Net can really be. And that's really it for the list. Let's go straight off on PCO and uh, let's see what Rayquaza VMAX can really do here with Raiden E-Turn support. All right, we are mulliganing going first. Kind of revealing what we're playing. I didn't think we are Rocket Science to uh, know that I'm playing Rayquaza. All right, what do we got? Let's see, let's see. What do we got? Hopefully we get to use E-Turn, by the way. We'll see, though. I think we get to use E-Turn. It's a pretty good hand, too. I like it. All right, what are we up against? If we're playing against, like, a basic deck, too, we might need the uh, Pikachu, which, I mean, if we are against basic deck, we're just going to have to go Pikachu. All right, what is this? What are we up against? Mewtwo Rocks. Ah, uh, Rocks are annoying. I'll have to deal with them, though. Well, Quick Ball for Raiden E-Turn. Yeah, no Pikachu. That's fine. We'll just use Rayquaza. That's fine. Rayquaza does get the job done pretty well. So we'll go Mountain, grab Mareep, drop the E-turn for Double Ray. Makes wish I played a Dark Energy, man. Dark Energy could be pretty hard here with uh, Raiden E-turn. Because we can attack with it, but it's probably not worth it. 
We'd have to attach a head of time to it, actually, because, yeah, it wouldn't really work, actually. That's fine. We got the double ray down. Uh, they are playing Mewtwo Rocks, though, which is annoying. And I can't really knock out this Mewtwo next turn. I do have a pretty good hand, though. I don't really want to lose Palpat, though, but there's a world where we get Marnied. The, the biggest threat, honestly, the Lunatones are really annoying. I'm not a fan of the Lunatones. They can definitely put on a lot of pressure, which I'm not, not, not digging. We'll see how that goes. I mean, I guess I could have went, like, Ray Flying Pikachu, but Flying Pikachu doesn't really do much, though, and, like, they just have Mewtwo anyways, but maybe we sh but I, I mean, if I had the Flying Pikachu in the deck, it wasn't in the deck. I don't know if I would have used it, because it just doesn't seem like it would be putting in much work. They got a lot of shoes, though, apparently. Boss discard is good. How many shoes are they down? They've already played three shoes. Jeez. Hmm. Do they have a pass? Just pass the turn. What do I want to do? I think I just research, right? Starbirth for double turbo research. I don't think there's a point of bossing my opponent. I definitely, like... Do we really need to hit in the Mewtwo, though? We can one-shot the Ray. I don't know. They're going to star raid me, actually, which is pretty annoying. Yeah, they're going to star raid me, which I'm not a fan of. Yeah, getting star raided here is kind of awkward, actually. Funny enough, that actually counter that's a pretty good counter to my ability. Because my V-Stars are going to take damage. Ooh, I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that, actually. Yeah, getting star raided here is pretty annoying. It's pretty annoying. Maybe they don't have the star raid play, though. Ooh, double turbo top deck. Hmm. Now I'm even more tempted to just, like, Starbirth for, like, a boss KO Lunatone. Because, like, we can one-shot Mewtwo with Rayquaza. I don't have to go after it. Yeah, you know what? Let's see if... Let's do it. Why not? Then I don't have to waste my Pelpad. Do I bother grabbing Flaffy? Yeah, we'll get Flaffy. I'm fine with this. Yeah. Because we can just one-shot Mewtwo with Rayquaza. We can knock out... Do I have... To... Should I knock out Soul Rock though? Gotta rather just kill Lunatone. Yeah, I'll just knock this out. Because I can just blow up this Mewtwo with Ray anyways, right? So. It makes more sense to just KO the Lunatone. We're only doing 240, though. So I need four energy to KO this Mewtwo. So we'll see if we can get there. There we go. That's perfect. That gets me there. We just need an energy attachment or another... Yeah, an energy attachment would just get us there. All right, we're chilling. So yeah, they're going to star raid. I can knock him out. KO the Lunatone. Palpat boss back. Seems fine. Hopefully it's fine. We'll see. I just see enough steam here to progress. Okay, they add an Ultra Ball. Double energy. We'll see if they have a supporter card or not. They should... I guess they could knock out my Arceus too. Oh, they have a Crobat. That would have been a good boss target, actually. Yeah, that would have been a really good boss target. We'll see if they knock out Arceus. I guess they theoretically could. If they can get... I mean, I think they'd rather Azure. I think Star Raid is definitely the play this turn. Like, I definitely think Star Raid... Even if, if I was my opponent, I would do Star Raid anyways. Training Court. I uh, can't really take advantage of that right now. It's not a bad stadium for us to have him play, though. Yeah, if I was my opponent, I would do Star Raid, too. It's just, like, clearly the best play. Yeah, they just do it. They didn't get another Mewtwo, though. So if I can knock him out here, we're actually on an okay spot, I think. Okay. We drew Marnie. That's fine. We'll just Ultra Ball. Do this. Grab another... Flaffy. We can pal pad, get back Marnie and Boss, and double Rayquaza, and we're going to hope we can get an energy here to knock them out. We just need a light energy to KO. Didn't get it there. We got net, though, which is good. Get this off the board. Research. There we go. Got the knockout. Nice. And we also got the Rose for next turn, and the Zera Aura, which is good. I was looking for that, too. Get rid of this training court, I guess. Should I play Air Balloon? No, I'm going to save for Flaffy. We're just going to retreat into Ray. And then knock him out with Max Burst. Cool. Hopefully we don't die. I don't think we can get KO'd in return. We have 200 HP. I mean, I guess maybe... I mean, they'd have to draw the nuts to knock me out. Serena's a good draw. Pikachu. I can also... Well, I can attack with Arceus next turn, too. So if my opponent goes... um, If... I could just KO the Crobat next turn and go down to one prize, which basically just guarantees me the win. So I could just do that, too. So I think we're chilling on that front. Yeah, yeah, we could just kind of do that, too. I could just, as long as, as long as we don't get Marnied here, I can go for the boss or Serena on Crobat with Arceus. And even if I do get Marnied, I can still maybe try to get there. But yeah, bossing the Crobat would be pretty ideal. Knock that out. 
take two prizes, and then we just go down to one prize remaining, and then that at that point we kind of just checkmate my opponent. So that's the dream. That was a pretty big knockout turn, though. But let's see if my opponent has anything they can do here. They have a pretty weak board state. Um, I guess if they pull off a KO on my Ray this turn, then we're in trouble. But even then, I mean, all I have to do is knock out Crobat, or, or Soul Rock Crobat, which I can probably easily do, so. I don't know, we'll see. It could be close. If they could knock out two Rays back-to-back, -back, then it is very much winnable, obviously, because they do just win the game, but I don't think they can do that. Are they even playing the game? There they go. All right, let's see how my opponent's got. Can they pull off what they're trying to do? No, they just scoop. Yeah, I figured they would just concede. They were in a pretty bad spot, yeah. I mean, again, if they knocked out Ray that turn and then killed another Ray the following turn, obviously they'd win. I don't, think they could, I don't think they could do that. They were asking for a lot. And I like counting that, that, that Lunatone. Counting that Lunatone actually ended up paying off. Because I figured, I'm like, I don't have to hit into the Mewtwo. The Mewtwo's already dead. Um, yeah, I already killed the Mewtwo anyway. So it was correct to just go after the, uh, correct to go after the Lunatone. They just crippled them a little bit. And it worked out in the end. And my win con was basically just go KO Crobat and then just one knockout wins the game. All right, trying out the uh, Rayquaza deck here with the Radiant Eternatus. Let's see what it's all about in this game. We are going to catch a Mulligan here. Hopefully we get a better starting hand than that mulligan hand we just had, and I'll take it. We're playing against a grass deck. Okay, well, unfortunately, I didn't get an Eternatus. Hopefully, I draw an Eternatus, but if not, we can always get the Rayquaza down manually. Not a big deal. Doesn't look like we need Flying Pikachu either. They're playing a grass deck, so I, I don't think there's any grass Pokemon that Flying Pikachu walls off. Um, ooh, DT top deck. All right, cool. All right, pretty good turn one. Probably the ideal turn one, if I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, we just have, like, the ideal turn one there. Let's see my opponent's got. They got a Quick Ball, Ice Pop, Celebi. Ooh, Celebi VMAX? Fortunately for them, we can just kind of run them over with Rayquaza VMAX. So, I'm feeling okay. Feeling okay. I guess they have Cricketune, which... Does that matter if they get a Cricketune in play? Would that ever matter? It might. Yeah, hey, that was like a top deck. We can grab Mareep. We do have the E-turn in there. The other Ray V is prize. So there is some merit to doing raiding Eternatus, but I don't really think we want to. Let's research. Eh, maybe could have been to the RCS. It doesn't really matter, though. That's a lot of energy. Didn't get the V-Star. Just realized. Wow. Not going to do my ability. So I think we're just going to Trinity Charge. Well, they can't knock me out. Selby doesn't knock me out. I guess, actually, we can probably just take a knockout here. Is that a... I'm thinking Marnie next turn. Hit with Arceus. They can't two-shot me. But I could also just go boom with Ray next turn. Now, Ray wouldn't even... I think... I, yeah, you know what? I'm actually just going to knock out this Bidoof. I'm just going to take a knockout here. Take a prize. Maybe get the Ray out of the prizes. Top card's always good. Quick ball. Yeah. I like this. Because, I mean, there's no point of... I mean, we could Trinity Charge. Sure. I'm content with this, though. Just knock him out. They can't knock me out in return. There's no way they're going to do 130. They can't do 220 with a Celebi. So I'm feeling good. Let me just Marnie them and then just figure it out. Kind of kind of chill with me. I don't think they can get a knock it anyways. And I can hit into the Celebi with the Arceus, set it up for Ray. And then if they ever bench a two prizer, I mean, I can go knock out VMAX, knock out a V. It should be good. Because Marnie, Marnie definitely works here because, yeah, their main attack gets two Pokemon in their hand, and we can Marnie them away. This thing does have 350 HP, so it actually does have enough HP to survive a hit from Ray. Hmm. See, I have to two-shot this first Celebi. Because Celebi VMAX does have... Yeah, this Cricketune makes it very awkward for us. That thing actually has a lot of HP, so... Then you get rid of the Stadium, which is good. Ooh, they're playing Shaman. Okay, Shaman's a little scary, not gonna lie. That is a little scary. Let's grab another Mareep. We'll quick ball in energy. Grab Zero Aura V. I'm going to go bench that. Oh, Marty. Seems good to me. Can we find the V-Star? We do. I was worried we were not going to. Okay. Get rid of these two. Yeah, if I whipped the V-Star there, that could have been pretty disastrous, not going to lie. I would have probably been forced to do my... Uh, as I would have been forced to absorb pulse. Um, no reason to do Starbirth. I guess they could kill me if they have a choice belt. Logically, what is the chance they get a choice belt? Like, probably really low, right? I'm gonna say they're not gonna get a choice belt. I wish I had another um, Rayquaza down, though, but this works. Just 
build up a fat Rayquaza. Honestly, one Rayquaza can just get two KOs, which is maybe what I'm hoping for. If we KO their Celebi, we can knock out the second Celebi or whatever, a Shaman with another Ray. Like, this should be pretty straightforward. Hopefully, anyways. Kind of hoping. We'll see how much damage they heal. Currently, they can only heal 20 damage because I did Marnie them. They've already shown they have a bunch of healing, though. So, I don't know. We'll see if they have any more healing. Just a Gardenia. That is not a good supporter to play because it only gets them two cards here. But they had two energy. Okay, well, I guess they have another VMAX. They can retreat into another VMAX. And, oh, my God, they actually had it. What? Marnie is a lie. Marnie is flat out just a lie. Okay, wow. That's not good. I did not expect them to get that. Hmm. I don't like that. Yeah, I did not expect them to do that. That's not good. Because now they can just retreat another Celebi and attack. I wonder if they have a supporter, though. They ultra balled away a research there, so I don't know if they have a supporter or not. That's not good. They can just retreat. I can knock him out, though, if I can find a Rose, which, I mean, maybe I can find. I need to put six energy on a Rayquaza. That was a pretty big... Yeah, that was a pretty big attack for my opponent to hit there. Damn, I was not expecting them to attack with another Celebi. That was a good Marnie. My Marnie, of course, had to give him the nuts. You hate to see it. Can I draw boss? No, fire. Hmm. We'll attach. Switch. Azor Pulse? I'm only doing 340. I can't one-shot a Celebi. Didn't get what we needed. If I can find Flaffy, though, I think we can take a KO. So if I can get one of my Flaffies here, I think we can knock out this Celebi. Oh, I have Starbirth, though. Oh, yeah, so I could Starbirth. Hmm. I, so I could Starbirth for boss, knock out the Celebi VMAX on the bench. I kind of just want to blow them up with my active. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think we're going to knock out the active Celebi with our active. Go from there. Oof. Didn't find what I was looking for, a.k.a. the Flaffy. Kind of sucks, actually. See, we're only doing 340 damage, so I have to do... I mean, they might not play Marnie, so maybe we can just go do Starbirth for Flaffy. Even if I get boss, though, it's not going to matter. I might as well just grab a Rose. I might like, save the boss for, like, the end, I think. I don't know. Weird spot to be in. I need to put five energy on this thing to KO this thing, which is absurd. Uh, we'll put the big parasol here. I don't think I'm going to need that. And then I could Palpat here. Get back Marnie and research. I guess if they do Marnie me, I want to be able to counter that. And Max Burst. Getting rid of all the lightning to knock them out, which is a little greasy, but it's the only way we can KO this pesky Celebi. All right. Get through the first one. We'll see what our prizes are. Rose, okay. I shouldn't have gone Rose then. Energy's good. Energy, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have gone Rose then. Maybe I, I What else would I have gotten, though? I could get a boss. So I can't knock out Celebi this turn. There's no way I can win this turn. Unless they, like... They'd have to throw pretty hard for me to win. PCL? Oh, God. That's fine. We'll, we'll hit it with... I think we'll attack with Arceus here. Oh, they don't even attack me. Ooh, okay. We drew a escape rope. That's huge. So I can rope here. Yeah, I can go rope into Arceus. I get to KO Krikatoon. Actually, KO Krikatoon's really good. And if not, they give me Celebi. Then I win the game. So this is a pretty big escape rope. This forces, yeah, this forces my opponent to a pretty awkward spot. Either we KO their Krikatoon or we win the game by knocking out Celebi. So whatever they bring in is good for us. We cripple their setup with the Krikatoon getting KO'd or we get a, or we just flat out win here if they go with Celebi. Which one will they go with? They have to go Krikatoon. But, yeah, I was gonna, yeah, they had to go Krikatoon. But that's fine. So we can go attach, Dynamotor. And we just have game next turn. We can just retreat Zera Aura into Arc. And then it's Trini Nova, knock out Krikatoon. They'll knock me out. It's going to be the Ray Watch. Ready? Yeah, let's get it. They'll knock me out, but then I just have game in hand here 
with the Dynamotor energy attachment. Even if they play, I guess they put a big charm on, then, I mean, we have game either way, right? We just go attach, Dynamotor, Rose, and that's game over. So this should be game, unless they Marnie me. So if they Marnie me and, like, somehow get a lot of HP back, then I guess we're not out yet. But they have one, one card in their hand. It's also knock out Arceus, because I can just keep putting pressure on them at Trini Nova. All right, what are they doing? What are they doing? They have a singular card in their hand. What's it going to be? That one card saved them. I don't know if it can. They fail the mountain. That's game. So we just go attach, dynamotor, retreat, and max burst. That's game. Rayquaza, baby, slaying Celebes. That's how you do it. Could have been close, man. Could have been close. I mean, honestly, that Cricket Tune caused us issues, but they kind of fumbled in the end there. They had that really good turn where they built up a Celebi and one turn off my Marnie, but they weren't able to really capitalize on that much, and we kind of just ran them over with the Ray. All right, let's see what we can do here with the Ray deck in this match. Might be against a, uh, what do you call it? Might be against um, Mew. We have a, a fine hand, I guess. Missing like a way to draw cards, but we'll see. Maybe we can top deck Radiant E-Turn and I can drop the E-Turn on my opponent. Get the raise down right away. We might even need Pikachu. What are we playing against? Drapion. I can't tell. RC top deck's pretty good. I like that. All right. That saves his hand from being total junk. Okay. We'll see what we're up against here. The Drapion start is good. I'm sure my opponent didn't want to open up with that. Though funny enough... This thing actually can attack me. Oh, it is Mew. This thing can actually attack me because of Rayquaza's Rapid Strike. So that might be an issue, potentially. This thing maybe might be able to attack me because Rayquaza is a, a Rapid Strike Pokemon. Which is kind of funny. I'm playing V-Guard Energy. Damn, okay. There's Genesect. Drapion is actually a really good Pokemon for us because it's actually forcing this Drapion to be stuck in play. And they can't draw as many cards. They do have a Marnie, though. Unfortunate. My hand was pretty good. You know what? That hand might just be better. They do get a Rikorio. That's unfortunate. I was going to actually boss KO the Mew. Well, they have a vacuum. That's annoying. Cheryl. There goes my air balloon. It's fine. We can just switch. It's all good. They might even do a pretty good hand, so I can't complain. Mm, they're not done yet. They have the Ultra Ball, but oh, I love to see it. Two double turbos down the toilet. You love to see it. I don't even really want to attack this Drapion. Like, this Drapion actually is kind of irrelevant for me to attack. Maybe I just boss kill Oracorio. It doesn't really matter if we knock out Oracorio, but I'm thinking about it. I don't know. Because I don't really want to attack Drapion. I don't want to KO. Oh, wow, that was a good top deck. I don't really want to KO this Drapion. You know? KOing Drapion doesn't really do anything for us. I'm just going to research. I mean, we'll, we'll attack into it. It's still, like, stuck in the active, so it's not the worst thing ever. That was a lot of energy to draw. Jeez Louise. Can Starbirth here get another Ray down? Now let's get Flaffy. Need to be ready to blow them up in one hit. All right, we're going to Starbirth. Screw it. Grab Ultra Ball Plus. What am I getting? Zara Aura. Ultra Ball these away. Flaffy. I do want to get their Ray down, but I think for now I'm just going to settle with these two. We can get a Flaffy in play here. Accelerate some energy. Seems good to me. Build up Ray, because, yeah, Ray next turn is going to come in and smoke a Mew VMAX, so I want to be ready for that. I would have liked to save Starbirth, though, to be fair, but that's fine. We'll just hit him for 180. Get two energy on. Yeah, I would have preferred to maybe save the uh, the tr the Starbirth. Because I could have maybe went Starbirth and then Rayquaza. You know, we could have Starbirth for boss. But I don't think this Drapion is going to be in the active any longer than it needs to be. And I don't want to knock it out either. Because I'd actually rather this thing be in play. Because it, it draws them one less card. Which is huge. Ooh, they do play V-Guard Energy. So they have another one. Okay. That's a little... Uh, that's awkward. That makes it a little awkward. Because Mew VMAX would have plus 50. 360 HP. Damn, okay. So I would need a bunch of energy to KO that. That last Mew might be a little bit of a hurdle to get over. Yeah, I don't want to KO Drapion. Honestly, if we can draw a boss here, that'd be splendid. 
I doubt we will draw boss, but you never know. Yeah, I'm not trying to kill Drapion. Honestly, I might just retreat to Zera Aura. Yeah, I don't really want to knock out Drapion, man. I don't want to do it. Drapion is too... Okay, they have a boss. They go after my Marie, but they pass. Okay. I don't got anything. Seems like an okay opportunity here to just probably research. Maybe into a switch or something for next turn with a boss. Nope. Quick Ball Mountain's good. Alright, well, Quick Ball here away the Arceus. Grab another Rayquaza. I could play Escape Rope. Hmm. Yeah, Rope's pretty good, actually. Pretty good. Whatever they bring in, we can knock out. Well, they're going to give me a Genesect. Maybe I shouldn't have played this. They're obviously not going to go into Mew. Unless they're, like, throwing the... I guess they can go to the Mew the Vigard on. Okay, they go Oracorio. That's good. I was hoping they would do that, actually. I can just knock him out Trini Nova. Yeah, actually, I like knocking out Oracorio. There's boss. Yeah, I like killing the Oracorio because it's just less HP they have. Because this thing actually now it only has 340 HP, technically, right? So we can one-shot this without needing the extra energy. Speaking of which, if they kill my Rayquaza this turn, we could be in trouble. And I fear that they could pull that off. Even though they only have one Genesec or one Drapion in play to like, they only dropped a five cards. I mean, they've already burned a boss. We'll see. Mew can do crazy things. Flannery, what the heck? They got Flannery too in their deck. This is a crazy Mew deck. Not the end of the world, but still. Okay, they don't have a knockout. Okay, we have to play the air balloon, which I'm not a fan of. But this is why, I, this is why I mentioned Zero Aura. Then we can just knock out the active here. Or do I want to boss the other Mew? Nah, I can just knock out the active. It's fine. Could have put another energy on, but I think we're going to have to spread energy out on the other Ray. We'll pal pad. Do I want to boss this Mew? Uh, I guess they get Oracorio back. That makes things a little awkward, but I'm fine with just knocking this out. That's right, so Zor Pulse. Another Ray. No, we got Rose, which is good. We'll save that. No, let's knock out Mew. We'll save the Rose for next turn. So I got at least two shot or something. Or maybe I can pull a Miracle out of my butt. All right, what do we got? Fire Energy is fantastic. I needed that. And yeah, they can see the game. I figured. Figured they would scoop it up there. They had a Drapion in play. They had a lot of bulk. And actually, that Oracorio V Guard combo is pretty annoying against us, considering 340 is usually how much I'm trying to aim for. I'm not trying to do the five Lightning knockout but we got him in the end because rayquaza is a beast all right see what we can do here with the radiant e-turn deck in this game we open up with a fair hand we are going first which or second reggie's all right so against reggie's we have to use our flying pikachu so we'll see if we can find it we do have the parasol so we'll see i might have to just go radiant e-turn early because if i draw the flying pikachu off research it's just really bad because then i can't get into play so i might have to just drop an e-turn here and just hope for the best Hmm. I hope they don't get, like, a turn to attack, though. I need an Arceus, honestly. I think I need to draw an Arceus here, too. We'll see. If I can draw into a Quick Ball, an E-Turn, or an Arc, we're chilling. Because I do want to be able to get... I need to get an Arceus down, because I also need to be able to Trinity Nova to my Pikachu. I could build up a Flaffy, but it's risky, especially if they get a turn to attack, which, when you're playing against Reggie's, you never know. All right, what do we draw? Net? It's not good enough. Yeah, I might just go E-turn here and just kind of hope for the best. I think I just got to go for the E-turn. I need to get this Pikachu in play. So let's do it. We can maybe, actually, we can get to a board state where we can have a lone Pikachu. That's tough to do, but it is possible. It is possible. If I don't bench Pokemon, we can just have a lone flying Pikachu. I basically need Parasol, though, or else we get farmed by Regice. Because I'm losing a Switch, so we'll see. We'll see if they get a knockout here. Preferably, I would hope to survive the turn. Actually, Ray and E-Turn is a pretty good Pokemon to go into. It's pretty tanky, too. It's got enough HP to not get killed by anything in their deck, which is kind of cool. I also don't want Pikachu to take damage from Reggie Lecky. They do have a Research. Okay. They get a Path, to Speak of the Devil. Ooh, they found the Path. That's annoying. So now I can't get rid of the... I don't have Starbirth. 
It's a good thing they didn't get path turn one, actually. Then I would not have been able to do E turn. Like, I read Jice. They are down two Serena's, though, which is really, really good, actually. That's two gusting cards in the deck. And they don't have the knockout. Good. Okay. Another energy's good. We can go attach. Switch. Search. All right. What do we got? Okay. We got Flaffy. We got Arceus. Okay. So here's what we can do Retreat. Dynamotor to the Pikachu. Quick Ball. I need to find that big Paracel. It's in there. Maybe we do bench an Arceus, and I get Starbirth, and I can find big Paracel. Maybe it, I might actually be worth it to go Arceus. Because, I mean, they're also down two Serenas, so, like, their Gust is pretty limited at this point. And it actually is kind of worth it to go double Arceus, because this way I can find big Paracel with Starbirth if I ever get a Storm Mountain. Okay, they research. No energy discarded. They just can't find energy. I love to see it. Oh, they play three Serenas. Okay, that should be their last Serena for now. I mean, they have Reggie Lecky to get it back, I guess, but that's really good that they're down three Serenas. That's really, really good. Okay. What do they got? What do they got? What do they got? Can I Rose here? I need to... I mean, I need to play something. I need a supporter or something, which I currently don't have. But Raiden Eaturn can kind of wall for a little bit. I thought about adding a Dark Energy in the deck because E-Turn actually does work with uh, Fire, Dark, and Lightning, which we do happen to play Fire in the deck, so it's just an idea. Could be kind of cool to attack with Raid and E-Turn. Actually, it would do work in this matchup, too. Can't get one shot by Reggie's. Um, yeah, once we draw into a playable card, we can go Starbirth, grab Paracel, we're chilling. That's all we have to do. I don't think I want to attack with Flying Pikachu, do I? Maybe we do. I can go Rope attack with Pikachu here. I'm tempted to do that. I think they're going to retreat, though. They can build up Gigas, which is awkward. They're also down a ton of draw. They are literally down seven draw supporters, which is kind of insane. Like, they're, they, yeah, being down seven draw supporters is ridiculous. They belt the Drago. They don't belt the Gigas, really? Oh, they got O-Rod. Not that that really matters right now. Yeah, I think we just I think we just start doing Max Balloon next turn. They haven't put an Aurora Energy in the discard, and they still don't have one. And they had another Marnie. How many supporters? Okay, they are down eight supporters now. They are literally down eight supporters. They can Dragon's Horde, I guess. I guess we might see them go Reggie Lecky this turn. I don't want them to put damage on my Pikachu for the record, but not much I can do about it. Let's we'll see what they got. I need that path to get discarded. It's a good thing they lost another path. It makes it makes it easier for me to stick a mountain. Should I play two Pikas in this deck instead of one? But one should be fine. One can win us the game. I mean, lone Pikachu Parasol would have been kind of insane here, but I guess there's a chance they have lost Vacuum. Though they're not playing my list. So I don't know. Quick Ball. Got to keep thinning. So do we just start doing Max Balloon now? We haven't seen them get a single Aurora. Yeah, I'll just go Max Balloon. If worse comes worse, we can always go behind E-Turn. We know they don't have a thing in play, so... Yeah, we know they don't have a... Uh, they don't have an Aurora in play. It's fine. We'll start doing Max Balloon. We have to start doing it soon. We get a free knockout here on something. Well, we also know they're down three Serenas, which is kind of insane. So we just sit here and Max Balloon. KO this Regice. Give me a good prize. Is it a good prize? Mmm. I guess. Got attacked with Arceus, too. Even though Reggie Rock's a bit of a threat. All right, if they have a supporter, I will be very surprised. Actually, if they Marnie me, I'd be very happy. I would. I need to get Marnie or something. Because we're literally just bricking right now. I mean, this deck kind of relies on Rayquaza, but, like, when you can't use Rayquaza in this matchup, it's kind of bad. I thought about putting Rayquaza in playoff E-turn. I didn't want to, though. I didn't want to risk it getting, like, knocked out by Gigas. I don't want to give him, like, an easy three-prize KO, but maybe I should have put Rayquaza in play to draw three cards. Okay, they, some, okay, they, they had another supporter. That should like be the last of their supporters, though. They are literally down four research, three Serena, two Marnie. There's no way they have another supporter. No, they got the Blizzard Bind, though. They got the double Aurora. Oh, no. They can retreat into Reg Ice. Um, that's fine. We'll just go into E turn, I guess. Just gotta hope they don't have any gusts left. It's not good. It's not good. It was definitely worth it a max balloon in there, but that does suck. They got the. They got where they needed to. I named them Marnie Mirror or something. But again, we gotta assume they're out of supporter cards. There's no way they play four Serena. There's no shot. They might have a boss, which is a scary What? Why did they just go into Reggie Rock? Oh 
Okay, why did they do that? I don't know if they're going to get punished for it. But, oh, we do the mount. Okay, we got to hold on to that. Why did they go Reggie Rock? That doesn't work against me. What the heck? Did they not know what Regice does? All right, what do we got? Yes, okay. We got the Parasol combo. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm out of switch. But what I can do is I can go Retreat, Net, E-Turn, and then grab Pig Parasol. Perfect. All right, we have the combo. Assuming my opponent... Do they not know what Regice does? Why are they not going Regice? Either way, we have we have Mountain plus Ultra Ball. So we can go... Assuming the other Nets in the deck, we can Retreat Pikachu into E-Turn, Net the E-Turn, Big Parasol, Reset the... What?! Do they have a boss? But if they gust me, they'd rather save her Pikachu. I am so confused. What, what is going on right now? Actually, I don't want them to KO Arceus, though, because I need it. I don't know why they're going Reggie Rock. Do they... What? What are they doing? Why are they not using Regice? Whatever. We're just going to do the thing now, I guess. Seriously, why, what are they doing? Why are they not going Regice? Do we have Net? Yeah, we do. Okay, good. All right, yeah, yeah, we're chilling. We just do... We'll go here. We'll go Arceus. Starbirth. Grab these two. Get that on. And that Parasol should be checkmate. I seriously don't know why my opponent didn't, like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they, like, gave up or whatever, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. That should be checkmate. They can't win the game. There's only four prizes on the bench. And they've only... I don't know why they didn't go Regice. Now, even if they did go Regice, it didn't matter. Because we would have retreated into the E-turn, netted it, and played Big Parasol off Starbirth there. So no matter what, we had the the, the counterplay, but I seriously don't know why they they did not go Red Ice. That is very odd. I, I seriously don't know why they didn't go Red Ice. But now we should win. As long as they have no loss vacuum, we should win. Even if they do, I mean, we're really far ahead anyways, right? We can also reset Red Ice by retreating into E-turn and netting it. We still have that option available at some point in the game. We have so many options here, so the game should just be over anyways. We're very, we're, I think we're far enough ahead where we can just win the game by taking six prizes. I think we're at that point now. Because I don't know. They they apparently don't know what Red Ice does. I, I seriously don't know why they didn't go Red Ice. Shouldn't matter anymore, though. The game should just be over. They shouldn't be able to do anything to stop me. We can just kind of run them over the flying Pikachu here. And this is this is how you beat, say you beat Reggie's with uh, your Rayquaza VMAX deck. You E-turn a flying Pikachu into play and you Pikachu your dreams. And that's how you do it. So. Let's see what they have here. I mean, they should be out of supporters too, right? Like, maybe they have one boss like me. Yeah, and they just scoop. Okay, there we go. I mean, yeah, they should have been Regis earlier. Either way, I had the counterplay to the Regis with the Retreat Net Parasol combo. But it was weird they didn't do that. But we take those. Flying Pikachu is how this deck is going to be. Because otherwise, Rayquaza VMAX, it ain't beating Regis. There you have it. That is the Rayquaza deck here, updated with Crown Zenith, using, of course, Radiant E-Turn just to help you get Rayquazas into play, and also being able to utilize Flying Pikachu VMAX to fix those one prize matchups that you run into. But yeah, the deck is really fun to play. Arceus, I still think, is very, very good with Rayquaza. Um, and yeah, the deck ended up doing pretty good in this video. I like the Zeraora too. It is cuttable. Like, I thought about actually adding in a Raikou V over Zeraora, which might be the better one to play. You could even play like a Vigable too. Oh, I'm just trying to spitball ideas, but, um, that is basically the deck in action. Hope you all enjoyed today's Pichu video on Rayquaza VMAX with Crown Zenith. If you all enjoyed today's video on Rayquaza, make sure to leave a like in the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 39 or 30, yeah, 38,000 subs, sorry, 38K subs. We are actually getting very close to 38K subs. At the time of recording this, we are less than 100 subscribers away from 38K. So if you have not subbed yet, click that subscribe button down below. Check out Car Cabin, check out the Shuffle Squad, check out my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Discord. Check out my second channel for even more LDF content, um, like stream VODs, uh, stream highlights, early lists, set reviews, all that good stuff, and tier lists and all that good stuff. But uh, peace out.